Once upon a time, there was a sheep duck. <laughs> The sheep duck was generally happy in its desktop environment, surrounded by its squishy siblings and squashy friends, and yet, it longed for fun and adventure in the wide, warm world. Then one day, chatting with one of its farm friends, Horse Duck, it got the idea to run away and try its luck in the great unknown. Sheep Duck was invited to a local social gathering where it made new friends in a comfortable, familiar environment. These lively new friends encouraged Sheep Duck to go exploring. For the first time in its molded, rubberized life, Sheep Duck left the peaceful safety of its office space home and ventured into the delicious light of day. Sheep Duck had heard of public transportation and understood it to be relatively safe whilst fraught with strange and exciting possibilities. What if it missed its stop? What if it got stepped on? Sheep Duck's first stop was a 3D movie at the planetarium. The movie inspired Sheep Duck to reach beyond these initial steps, to get out of its comfort zone and see everything there was to see even if it meant traveling the length and breadth of the world. Sheep Duck's path took it north, where it had to cut a path through the treacherous Canadian swamp jungles. Known to inhabit this wilderness, Sheep Duck had to keep a watchful eye out for the fiercest, most terrifying beast in North America, the Frosty Canuck. Soon, Sheep Duck arrived back in the safety of the United States. Alaska. In Alaska, it was able to watch the marvelous northern lights dance across the sky, natural solar fireworks drawing magnetic images over mountains, lakes, and sheep ducks. After crossing the Bering Straits, sheep ducks' luck ran out. It was abducted by aliens of an unknown, undocumented type, and was ripped from the relative safety of the Earth's gravity and spheres both Atmo and Magneto. The aliens took a bizarre pleasure in subjecting Sheep Duck to a variety of pointless experiments. While none of these experiments were harmful, Sheep Duck was rather creeped out and swore revenge. During one of the intervals between confusing experiments, Sheep Duck took the opportunity to distract the alien crew. It had learned quite a lot during its brief visit to the planetarium and began imparting its knowledge to its abductors. While distracted, the aliens forgot to pay attention to where they were headed. By the time they realized the ship was headed towards the fiery expanse of the sun, it was too late. Taking advantage of the aliens' panic, Sheep Duck snuck into an escape pod and aimed it back home. Earth. Passing through the cloud layers, Sheep Duck saw a destination below that intrigued it, something it had never considered before. It would have to take a closer look. It guided the escape pod carefully towards its new destination, and touched lightly down upon a silvery pad of nickel-plated adamantium. Sheep Duck's first landing was a splendid, if surprising, success. From the landing pad, Sheep Duck made its way across a variety of obstacles. A vast expanse of boulders were crossed. A towering forest of trees were climbed. And a giant, mighty cake was summited and sampled. The wedding decorations stirred memories in Sheep Duck. Memories of its time among the stars. These thoughts, though, led to other memories. Memories of home, of friends, of family it hadn't seen in some time. Sheep Duck gazed once more out the window at the wide world it had now explored. It was ready, it realized suddenly, to go home. Not just Earth this time, but its true home, the home of its youth and joy, the office. 
Sheep, duck, bid farewell to the young couple just embarking on their own new adventure, wishing them all the cliches it could think of. Then rode some elevators, hitched a few rides, snuck through some secure doors, and was welcomed home with many smiles and much felicitation by its friends and family who had missed it terribly while it was away. As time passed back in the office, Sheep Duck never forgot its travels, its adventures. It would answer questions about the time away when asked, but generally kept the story to itself. It had grown much while gone, had seen much more than it had ever expected, and in its own heart it was no longer merely a sheep duck. It was... The Woolen Mallard, Destroyer of Aliens.